This thing is the biggest piece of crap in the world. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. <laughs> That's right. Here's a car that <laughs> got me a lot of hate on my review, and I still get, geez, a ton of stuff. Nobody ever goes back and watches the final videos of getting it running. I've been called an Arma fanboy because I was critical of how this thing ran out of the box. But hey, at the end of the day, number one, it's my channel. Number two, I'm a consumer. I paid full price for that. I didn't get any breaks. I didn't get it free. I didn't get it in advance to review. And as a consumer, I wasn't happy. When it does stuff like that. <laughs> um, but we got it. We got it fixed. We got it dialed in. And man, now it's an amazing truck. It just, it is disappointing that you got to you know, sink about a hundred bucks or so into it to get it to that point, but that's neither here nor there. Today, I'm out here to run it in this little spot that I found. Uh, so I took the Mojave out here, so I know how the Mojave uh, runs out here, so I kind of want to compare, like how does the Max Slash do? And so far, and I'm not a fanboy of anything, I think the Mojave did a better job. Because I don't think the Mojave flipped once. I don't think it did. Could be wrong. If it did, maybe once. I did get it stuck in those woods. Uh, Ooh. What was that smacking noise? Now, if you think I hate on tracks, just go ahead and watch. I just shot a video here the other day, running the XRT through here and had a blast. Man, the XRT ruled through here. There was like no slowing that thing down. Even broke my little tripod I was using to get some b-roll I think there's just there's one inherent flaw with the max lash that no matter what you just can't fix it's the design fault it's the lack of suspension it's just not a lot of it to be had I don't care I, I, man I get so tired of people saying put a put a wide max kit on it why why would I do that? I bought it. I bought this because of the way it looks. Because it looks amazing. It's a short course truck. If I wanted some with tires sticking out, I would have just bought the Max. You know? And then you get people. Uh, you just don't understand the truck. You don't understand. What's not to understand about a short course truck? It. It's designed to run a course, short course where, you know, tracks, running on tracks. I'll get people disagree with me. I'll say it's not a basher, man. Yeah, I don't care. So-and-so RC threw it up a ramp, no problem. Good for them, you know? <laughs> I don't care. I really don't. Just because you can take it up a ramp and it hits and it doesn't break, the only thing that says is that, hey, it's a damn durable RC. And it is, it is a durable RC. I'll give it that, it is very strong that's where it gets that X Max heritage um, but you know it's, it's, it's just it doesn't have the suspension to take big jumps I mean you can do it and I have a feeling you see a lot of people complain about the ESC taking the crap and this and that and the next thing breaking, well, what do you think is gonna happen? You keep slamming electronics and stuff like that. And Whoa. 
So I just reached out to Scorch RC. The last time I talked to, uh, I forget his name over there, I'm sorry, but uh, he said he's working on fender liners for this. He said he's uh, just releasing the ones for the Slash, and now he's gonna be working on the ones for the Max Slash. So that's gonna be great because this thing is a literal trash can for debris. And that's where one of the one of my favorite parts of Traxxas are these clipless bodies. I do love this design. Oh, golly. oh man. Look at how is the ESC not gonna overheat with this? Oh golly. Oh. This <laughs> Uh, yeah, uh, we need to get a fix for that quick. Uh, the poor ESC is choked up. Hey, I'm running the factory batteries, factory electronics, the factory ESC. The only thing I changed out, I got the EcoBoost servo, uh, hot racing servo saver. Uh, I did change the springs here in the front, so these are stiffer than the ones that come from the factory up front but not as stiff as the back um, now let me see so here man this thing already feels like it's yeah I also I uh, thinned the shock oil down a little bit I can't remember what I put in it but I dropped it down some it was pretty thick from the factory and then I uh, opened up the center diff because I noticed a lot of people were doing wheelies and mine wouldn't uh, yeah, my center diff was fairly dry. All right, so let's try to keep it out of the grass. It looks like they just mowed. <laughs> oh, man. Let me make sure I got a good... Okay, so yeah, I can see the road. Let's pan this up just a little bit. Now, for the record, let's get this... I like the Max Slash. I think it's a good vehicle. Uh, I have fun driving it. I don't feel, in all honesty, with it. I don't feel it's as good as the Mojave. And I know I have people disagree with me, and that's fine. Uh, you know, we don't have to agree on stuff. You know, that's the beauty of it. But don't, you know, guys, don't be so narrow-minded and just think one brand makes all the best stuff and that the other brand makes crap it just doesn't out of i love every tracks as i got i think is absolutely phenomenal vehicle this one just doesn't really hit the mark for me um it just i think it just could be better and i think you know like i said it's boils down to the lack of suspension and it's just something that you're never going to fix i mean we could only tune the shocks and do so much with these things now if you don't tune the shocks then yeah it's just going to be a horrible time for you i feel <laughs> look at that now see before i before i did tune the shocks if i would have done something like that the back end was uh it would hit and would launch over the front. So I really, uh, I thinned down the back ones a good bit. Um, so now it stays way, it's, it's, it stays playing to the ground way better. I don't feel like I could have came out here day one and ran this truck like this without the tuning we got in it. I want to get over here this other mound. Uh, Yeah, but man, it's, old Max Slash is doing pretty good. I mean, we're hitting some pretty good speed through here, man. It's staying planted, so. Uh. It just, uh, it still rolls over. Uh. 
Oh, that's what I'm hitting is this stump thing right there. So like I said, for the record, I don't hate the Max Slash. I'm definitely not an Arma fanboy, not a Traxxas fanboy. I'm an RC fanboy. If it's remote control, come on, man, let's go have some fun with it. No RC is perfect. None. There's nothing that you can make and, and be like, oh, this thing is absolutely perfect out of the box. I've yet to find one at least. Uh, but it is disappointing. A company as large as Traxxas with the money they have, uh, they got people that would die to uh, be a reviewer for them. Uh, and I can't believe people that got these things maybe early didn't notice these problems or care to bring it up. Uh, you know, we got tires kind of hidden. But this, this body collecting trash, whoa, that's horrible. Look at that steering. Oh, sand bath. <laughs> I might have to turn the brakes up on this thing a bit. It's, I don't know. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh. Well, now that's a first, I do believe. It's the first time I've ever had the body eject. But you know what, man? I do love the clipless system in here. Just for me, though, I just it boggles my mind. Why didn't they tie this together? Why didn't they tie that? that all this is here's tied to here. Why didn't they do this? Because if you look, hopefully you'll, the body's cracking right here. It's cracking. See, it's split right there. All you had to do was another inch of plastic, Traxxas. That's it. And we would have been good. Check out the uh, Garage Life RC wheelie bars. Or not wheelie, uh, his wheels. Really nice. It turns out the factory wheels that come with this do not have bearings in it, even though the owner's manual said it did. Uh, It didn't, I just kind of found like once this thing hit the wheelie bar, it was kind of like, uh, it wasn't running pretty good. Hey, I'm not getting any wheelie action out here, but maybe it's just cause it's grass. It, it is a fun RC. Um, like I said, I don't hate tracks and I don't hate the RC. It just, it was, an unfortunate, uh, oh, it was unfortunate that it's, it's just, they sold it and it just wasn't ready. And even now still, it just, I mean, look, you got the weight on the shot. Look, that's it. That's all the suspension that you got this thing. And it doesn't even have that much because the body hits before the shocks even bottom out. See, so you got more, you got more shock. You just don't have the body. I don't know, somebody will tell me about the extenders. I've had the extenders on here. Um, the one thing, it, it's not really giving you uh, more, because even look back here, we hit and we still got space. So, it is what it is. It's got a short falls, I believe. But, um, I love the size of this thing, man. Whew. It's just big. <laughs> uh. Let's, oh, let's turn the TQI actually up. Maybe it'll help a bit. It is a good RC, it's fun. Um, you know, I know people hate Traxxas, they'll hate the RC. Um, 
people that like Traxxas think I'm freaking nuts because I'm critical of it. <laughs> uh, I gotta stop, guys. All right, this is the last time, I promise, the last time I run this vehicle, uh, I will talk about the review and everything else, and uh, we're just gonna come out here and have some fun. That's what we're gonna do. Oh, shit! <laughs> just trying to get revenge. Oh, no! Yeah, batteries have had it. Oh. I hear something going on though. What is that noise? Well everyone, the Max Slash stayed cool. It burned through the batteries, but the Insta360 here, it got hot and <laughs> shut down. But yeah, I don't hate the Max Flash. I don't hate Traxxas. I like anything RC. And if a RC has a problem, I'll bring it. Like I said, I'm not going to mention this no more. I'm just going to go out there and have fun. Um, but I will say, running the two out here, the Mojave and this, I think the Mojave, I, I just know it did a better job. It didn't roll over as much. It's just a better handling vehicle. So take it for what it is. Uh, the Max Slash still still a good vehicle. I, I have plenty of fun with it. It looks amazing. I love the clipless body. I can't wait for Scorched RC to come out with the fenders so we can keep all the dirt from getting piled up into it. And uh, I already mentioned another video, but yeah, but I'm leaving for Europe tomorrow. It's gonna be a great video. You guys will see. We're meeting with Chris with the C. Uh, something you guys don't know. And I'm filming this before I go. I'm going to edit this like on the plane or something. Give me some things to do. I shot two videos today. So give me something to do. But I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope you enjoyed watching the Traxxas. Max Slash Run. I said, I don't hate it. If there's something wrong with the RC. I just, I'm going to be honest with everybody. So before this camera shuts off, because I can feel it's pretty hot. Links down below. Have you some pretty cool discounts. Have affiliate links that help me buy these things to bring to you. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching. Thanks for the support. See you next time.